What's up guys, how y'all doing? Today's video is a guide on the race event. This one for me is the hardest event to clear 100% of the times, but it can be done pretty consistently, not as much as the other events, unfortunately. Well, to begin with, Crow and Render Man are the best hunters for stage 1 and 2. You can see that we have a lot of mounts to choose from, but don't be fooled, the best ones are the 50 HP brown horse, the 200 HP white horse, and the 350 HP brown elephant. Other horses are slower than the brown horse. The white horse is slower than the brown one but his HP is higher than other. Plus they have the same speed. Elephants are all slower than horses, but the 350 HP elephant is the only medium velocity mount on the game, that's why he's better than the other two elephants. On this video, I'll show you the 50 HP horse and the 350 HP elephant performances. Beginning with the brown horse. Here you can see why he's the best horse. He's the only one with the very fast status, the others are slightly slower than him. It's a simple trade. More HP, equals less velocity. Being the fastest horse makes it super easy to dodge attacks on the race. Second stage is super easy, collect 20 apples and you're done. Best hunters for this are Crow and Renderman. You can get 20 apples easily if you have a hunter capable of killing dragons fast. like to do this with Berserker too. 20 apples is the exact amount of apples you need to boost your horse HP to 110%, and, yes, reaching 110% is a glitch. Now to the topic not everyone knows about. Not everyone knows that your hunter HP and perks can affect your mount status. That's why for racing, the best thing you can have, is a Barbarian. You may be asking why, and the answer is very simple. He has the highest base HP on the game, if you have Celestial Pack. HP up, and damage reduction perks on him. You'll never lose a race event again. Barbarian is undoubtedly the best for this event, but if you don't have those perks for him, you can use other hunters with HP perks too. Now that this super important topic has been cleared, we can continue the event. Your biggest and strongest enemy here, as funny as it may sound, is the pink worm. Don't be fooled by her size, this worm will drain your life super quick if you don't take care, always do wide moves when you're near one of those. you to really really carefully look at my moves on the cactus and pink worm section here, they are vital to your survival. Always get cover behind the palm trees, and make wide moves around those dragons as fast as you can. The final section is a real nightmare. Try to get cover on the table like I did, and on the cross benches sections, follow a straight line, that's your best option. After all, with all the HP perks and a clean run, you can reach the 1000 meters mark super easily almost all the times. Now, let's have a look at the elephant run. The principles here are exactly the same as the ones when you use the horse. Wide moves, clear path, avoid pink worms, and dodge a lot more. The paths I do with the horse and elephant are exactly the same, so there's no need to extra commentaries here.
Hope this guide helped you reaching 1000 meters on the race event too. Let me know in the comments if you need any informations about this strategy. Leave a like if this video helped you somehow, and subscribe for more guides and informative content. Have a great day folks, and remember, I'll be back soon with more guides and tips for our community.